What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lip. Oh my god, let's start the video, girl. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we got a lot to talk about. Jeffree Star. It's in the drama again. A little bit of uh, Shane Dawson drama, I think. A little bit of James Charles drama. Jacqueline, you already know, girl. You come here for all the tea. All the time. Ain't no scandal I can't handle, girl. Alright, so this is my receipt bag. You know, my spooky, ooky, kooky, girl. I'm giving you the looks, honey. I'm bringing you Halloween looks, makeup looks, fashion, in the lobby of Paris, Versailles, with an expensive Halloween budget, our non-conforming, non-gender, binary pumpkin here. I'm just saying, girl, ain't no other drama channel serving you the hottest tea, girl. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm giving you a production, girl. And y'all still can't even give me a like or a comment, much less a subscriber, girl. Oh my God, honey. So I have my receipts in here. Oh my God, you like this Swarovski crystal bread? Judith Lieber is shook, girl. Oh my God, I love this. All right, so let's see. We got, look at the detail, honey. I look at the little skeleton up here. Oh, the little detail. Okay, let's see. I've got him in here. Let's see. Yeah, I know. Jeffree Star drama, girl. Oh, we have a lot of Jeffree Oh, girl. When I tell you the drama that we have with the Jeffree Star receipts, girl, I can't. Oh, should we just roll? We're gonna roll the receipt. All right. We have a complaint about Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Let's roll the complaint. Here we go. Roll it, girl. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Roll it, girl. Roll it. Hey, guys. So, I decided to come on here and share my complaint with you guys because I have I ordered um, the new prick palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and it came damaged. Missing some fabric on the belt strap, some glue stain and like a red um, makeup stain of some kind on the front as well as there's like some material missing on the inside. So I reached out to Jeffree Star Cosmetics and was talking to someone named Alex. And I explained to them, I sent them pictures of, you know, my issue with the palette. And he told me that he hopes I like the palette, but if I don't, that I could return it, but that I have to pay for shipping if I don't want it. Or if, I, or if it's undesired, right? Or something? Yeah, so basically he said the order was undesired and they wouldn't cover return fees as well as they could not exchange the palettes, right? <laughs> so I know for a fact that there is no way that Jeffree Star could know that they're doing this shitty customer service because I've been buying Jeffree Star palettes for like forever and this has never happened. Like I've never dealt with, um, I've never had bad customer service. So Jeffree Star, if you're seeing this, um, please reach out to me. Um, so we can rectify the situation because I am a huge supporter of your makeup and I am just really upset right now. <laughs> I'm a makeup collector and nobody wants to pay a lot of money for a palette for it to come and for you to have to fix the palette and restore it and all of that. You know, after talking to the um, Alex, I'm like, I can't. Yeah, so basically he said the order was undesired and they wouldn't cover return fees as well as they could not exchange the palettes right <laughs> so i know for a fact that jeffree star could know that they're doing this jeffree star if you're seeing this um please reach out to me um so we can rectify the situation because i am a huge supporter of your makeup and i am just really upset right now <laughs> i'm a makeup collector and nobody wants to pay a lot of money for a palette for it to come and for you to have to fix the palette and restore it and all of that, you know? After talking to the um, Alex, I'm like, I can't. So basically, I bought some Clorox wipes and I, I had to try to restore it the best way I can because it makes no sense for me to pay for shipping to ship it back and then pay for shipping to have it ship back to me. I'm losing money, you know what I mean? And. I don't feel it's an undesired item. An undesired item is if you don't want the item anymore. That's not the situation. It's a manufacturing problem, which I feel like the responsibility should fall on the company. I was only asking for a shipping label to ship to return it. And I was gonna pay the shipping to have it ship back to me. I was asking for the bare minimum of customer service. So I feel like this is bullshit. And um, yeah, 
I feel like whoever Alex is, he needs a, a serious, um, a serious check. I think um, Alex needs to be put in his place or trained better um, because this is fucked up. Like seriously, this stuff. I was so hyped like to get the palette. I just feel like things like this could really discourage you in the future from purchasing from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. See, but I've been buying from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I know his quality control and I know that he um, is very keen on good customer service. So I know this isn't him. So I'm hoping that he fixes the situation and I'm hoping that I get a better palette. Okay guys. Honey, what do you think about all that drama in the house? Shut, sure, honey. Shut. Sure. Um, you know what? I do have a lot to say. I have. Oh, wait. We have it right here, girl. I have the palette. Yes, girl. This is a palette everybody wants. It's the palette of the season, girl. Check it out. This is right here. The prig palette by Jeff. This is Jeff Star's news palette. And for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, if you want to, we are giving away this palette. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Be subscribed. Simply leave your favorite emoji in the comments down below. And if you want bonus points, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. You know, I'm all, I'm, you know, go out there and find me, girl. But anyways, this is the palette, girl. This is it. Now, this is how I received it. It's very nice. All right. So, one of you guys is going to win a brand new prick palette. You know, you know the rules. And I'm looking at mine. You know, when I watched the video, I was looking at my palette, the house. My palette looks pretty good. All right. It seems like the lovely woman got a palette that just wasn't, like... It seemed like some of the makeup was kind of like, like just off to the side and then like, girl, I really got in spec. Hold on, girl, because she really zoomed in on that, on that thing. Hold on, let me see. Well, I see the, the little stitching thing right here. See little, we're gonna be, see the little stitching right there on the side right here? See that coming off, all right. Mind effects too? No, I honestly, I don't think mine is as bad, girl. I think mine's pretty good. You know, but everyone's different. She, girl, you know what? A lot of times, and I'm not defending Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star can defend himself. But I'm trying to say is that, like, a lot of times UPS be breaking stuff too, girl. Let me tell you, don't even get me started on the UPS FedEx people, girl. They're so disrespectful. Okay, but I do think that, and this is my opinion, I do think they should have been like, all right, we'll send the palette back, girl, and we'll send you a brand new in the house. I just, that's what I kind of think about it. They just, you know... Like, really? I mean, she says she's a big customer. She loves him. She's so angry about it. She's spending her hard-earned money. Just give her a new palette, girl. Send her every single mirror in the house, girl. Send her, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that from a control quality standpoint, you know, you got to help out the people, honey. Okay? But I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. But we have some more receipts. And I hope she does get a new palette. So I hope you do get a new palette, girl. Keep us updated and all the tea. And all that stuff like that, because you already know we're gonna report it at the house. Okay, so some more Jeffree Star drama has uh, resurfaced. A lot of people are shook about this. <sighs> Hold on, let me let me take a breath, girl, because woo, this is gonna be a big one, honey. It's a doozy, honey. All right, so Jeffree Star posted this on his Instagram stories. Okay, and it says here. Hold on, let me screenshot it before it gets deleted, girl. It says here at the very top, Jeffree Star. So y'all say I'm making it up for views. See, Jeffree Star. And if I look closely, you know what's very interesting about this, girl? Is that the setup of this campaign for the contest is very like MySpace days. You see how it's set up like MySpace? For those of you who are part of that MySpace community, it was very much just set up like that, right? But then you look at Trisha Paytas' website for her uh, Sad Boy merch. It's giving you very 90s. You know, early 2000s set up same way too. Clay, you know, the computer, Microsoft type vibe, you know, very much that. So I'm just thinking like, girl, these people are copying to her other house. But so then, anyways, I digress because the receipt goes as follows. Jeffree Star says, Jeffree Star Cosmetics Halloween Contest. Show us your best Jeffree Star MySpace era look. Ah, oh, and the, the the font is just so small, girl. Jeffrey is in your extended network, is what it says right there. And then it just says, you better work, bitch, in Los Angeles. And it has Jeffrey Star's old school MySpace picture up there. But yeah, so basically, it's a contest time. Jeffrey Star is launching another contest. Now, I don't see here what it says that you'll win. Check captions above for more details. So. Let, let me see if Jeffree Star has updated the rules to this 
new contest that we have here because you know a lot of times the last contest he had people were kind of like well who was the winner you know we he haven't picked the winner yet so if i go on here oh my god girl get ready for this t girl i'm about to show you this the house Jimstar hasn't gave us much more as of like what do you win for the contest it's very interesting but i do think that a lot of people are going to be kind of like well, who won the last contest for into this one? But a lot of people, they're just big, 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 big supporters and fans of Jerry Stars. They're going to get into the contest anyway. You know, it does. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like when the Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian, when they give away these boxes and bags of Louis Vuitton and Gucci and stuff like that. And it's like, well, whoever wins those, no one ever knows. But evidently, people enter because it's like, well, why not? You might win, might not, might win, might not. So people are going to enter regardless, but I can see where people are going to be all upset and talk about it at the house. You're going to be like, well, you know what I'm saying? Very much that. But I just don't understand. To me, if people won like all these bags of Louis Vuitton and, and Gucci, like where are those people like posing and like, oh my God, I won. And, and them resharing them that they won. And But girl, who knows? But then again, you don't want to do that because you want to give the wrong person, you know, attention, huh? You know what I'm saying? So I get why they don't share it too. It's just very interesting, tricky, but... According to the state laws and stuff like that, they don't have to announce the winner. The winner can re rename anonymous to how. So there's that T. So I noticed that uh, James Charles uh, has a new collection. Now, I might talk about this more in another video. I think this could be a whole video. But, you know, James Charles posted this new type of uh, collection where he shows off his new merch, right? He has this, this cafe, cafe collection merch, right? Different shades of brown hoodies. So boring, girl, if you ask me, right? So you post that, and I'm just thinking, like, really? Are people even going to buy it? Like, girl, like, the James Charles, in my opinion, he has not shown any growth or change, okay? Like, I would have loved to see, like, a, maybe, like, a little documentary of him doing some stuff and something and then pull, pulling us in the heartstrings, maybe, and then, boom, dropping the cafe collection. But just to me, the cafe collection just... So boring, honey. It just seemed very much like I'm just gonna put out something and if people buy it, then buy it and slap my name on something. That's me. I'm sorry, girl. It seems like he just slaps his name on something. Well, he put out this busted, born ass brown hoodies, you know, on the heels of being canceled for talking to underage kids, girl. He just posted that, girl. Like, people are just gonna like, he doesn't have the same clout like he used to. James Charles is not as influential as he used to be. And I've been saying this, girl. You know what? I'm gonna save all this for another video. Jeffree Star posted his uh, Jeffree Star branded hoodies. I just thought that was very interesting that uh, James Charles posts his and then Jeffree Star posts his and it's a battle of the brown hoodies, girl. Te the little Teddy kind of, you know, you know what I'm talking about? So shady, honey. It's so free. It's like saying, oh my God, I like James hoodie. Are they gonna buy it? <gasps> but Jeffree has one too. Oh my God. You know, it's very much that, girl. It's so interesting how these girls you know, it's just, it's business. It's not personal, it's just business, I guess. But I don't know, in my opinion, I like the Jeffree Star one better. It looks more better quality if you ask me, girl. But who am I, girl? Who am I? You're going to say I'm on the payroll of the house. God forbid I have an opinion, honey. Oh, my God. But anyways, take it from me. Y'all want some views? Go buy the James Charles one and then buy the Jeffree Star one and do a little quality test and see who has the most sickening one. Do it the house, cause and, and do an honest, not biased review. Anyways, I'll let you guys go, girl. I got a little waxing appointment i gotta go to so i will see y'all later and i love you guys so much i'll see you next one bye i love you so much you come here for all the tea all the time ain't no scandal i can't handle